as the Titans return, so too do Dark Mount reviews. Welcome to a new review for the first wave of Titan Masters. These guys from the Titans Return toy line that's starting apparently now ahead of schedule. It was not supposed to start yet, but hooray! So first up, I'm going to be taking a look at Nightbeat, who is this little dude who comes with, as all of them do, a little transforming vehicle slash target master gun kind of thing, which is uh, this little plane thing that you see him on. Um, as you can see, he is riding this on top of it not in the cockpit. So I don't really know why that cockpit's there, unless they're insinuating that there's a Cybertronian being that's even smaller than the Headmasters? Maybe that's part three of Prime Wars. Invisible Tiny Guy Wars. Anyway, um, you can take him off of this pretty easily. His feet down here have two little peg holes, which have just slid in to rest on two little pegs down there. So he kind of chills in like a motorcycle position in that. And uh, these Titan Masters are pretty tiny. Um, here's him, woo, just for a random size comparison, next to a G2 aerial bot in his robot mode, or what's left of it. Here he is next to the buzzsaw we just got in Combiner Wars, who is actually kind of a Titan Wars figure, but we'll get into that later. Or Titan's Return, rather. And here he is next to those weird little tiny gumball thing. Megatron. I don't even remember what those are called. The Q Transformers or something? The articulation for these figures is all pretty much the exact same on all of them. Um, so I'm just going to show it off on this one guy. Basically, you have bend in the knees that goes both ways pretty much to a 90 degree, a little bit further than 90 degree actually. These can swing all the way forward, all the way down, that's it. The arms are on ball joints so you can get a decent range of motion uh, in terms of outward and inward motion and up and down. However, on a good deal of them, once you get to about this point you run into some issues with their shoulder stuff hitting into the back of the face. So, they all pretty much just have that type of movement. Some of them can go a little bit higher, but not by all that much. That, that's generally what you're working with so far with at least all of the, the Titan Masters that I've been messing with. And then he also has full head rotation and articulation on a ball joint, which is probably the most impressive piece of articulation on these figures. Um, that is generally speaking because when they are plugged in his heads you can see his head right there when they're plugged in his heads that's where you get all of the actual head movement and uh... it looks like they did some clever clever stuff going on in here because it appears that the ball joint itself is actually a giant ball that takes up this part of the chest so for anyone who's worried about like pulling off the ball joint when you're trying to take the head off or anything i do not think that's going to be a problem because the, ball, the actual ball in the ball joint seems to be pretty massive. So I think they molded these heads on a... stuck to a spike, basically, that then connects to a giant ball, which they sandwich between these two parts. So it's... that's a really... that's pretty solid. So I don't... I don't... I don't foresee a whole lot of breakage when it comes to the heads of these guys. Maybe to the legs or the something, but these seem pretty well built. They're pretty solid. Um, I've seen a couple people complaining about the arms popping off or something. I have the four from the Wave 1 pack, and then I have the one from Leader Optimus and the one from Blaster, and I haven't had any arms pop off on any of them, so I don't know if people are just yanking them too hard, or if some of them are loose and some of them are not, but I, I don't know, I can't speak to that. I haven't had, I haven't seen that happen at all once, so who knows. The little vehicle drone thing that Nightbeat comes with is unfortunately probably my least favorite of all of them. Um, Mostly just because of, well, I will just explain it right now. Each one of these vehicles has two modes. One of them, the guy's a little bit more like visible driving it, and the other one, they're a little bit more kind of integrated and hidden into the vehicle itself. And then they all have a weapon mode that you can use as well. That's kind of an additional third mode. Um, I don't particularly like this vehicle as much as the other ones because in both of his modes, 
I think they're kind of weak in terms of how... I'm, I'm not a huge fan. You can get him to look up a little bit based on the ball joint, but not really enough to make it look like it's feasibly driving this thing. Also, I don't, I really don't get why there's a cockpit if he's driving it, because that cockpit's clearly not big enough for him to fit in there, so I'm like, I just don't, I don't understand what this is supposed to be. Um, there are these little things right here that are clearly, they're exactly molded to fit his hands, so they're, they're clearly supposed to present a thing for his hands to go onto that stops him from, you know, flying all over the place when you're messing with it. Um, but it makes the face really, really super visible, and granted, like, when this guy, um, terrible or horrible, is driving his little tank thing, you can totally see his face too, but for some reason, the fact that he's on an angle, and like, that seems like you get a lot of face regardless of, unless you're looking at it like, I don't know, like, from this angle, basically, you're, you're seeing face on there, and I'm, I don't know, I'm, this mode is better than the next one, at least, but, uh, his other mode is if you take this guy out, and you just kind of chill him off to the side for a second. Um, you close up these two wing things, and then this whole section right here, you want to rotate it this way, so that this plain nose cone scoots in between these two things, and then this little part flips up like that. And then the way he rides in this is that you basically turn him into head mode by folding up his legs and stuff, and you're supposed to be able to plug him in like this, except it's really, really annoying to try to get the angle, because you're like trying to scoot his face in through this thing, and then get it up into there at the same time. It's just really... I'm usually good with fiddly little things, but this is not... this is annoying. Uh, I have found that if you turn the head around, which is actually not the way it's supposed to fit into these little clips, as you can see from the indents on the side of his head, if you turn the head around, it does actually scoot in pretty well. And it... I mean, it fits in there, so... Whatever, I'll just do that, but it's kind of weird that it doesn't work as well the way that you're supposed to actually put it in. Uh, and then he just kind of chills out on the back here and becomes like a... engine, or... I don't... I don't really know what he's supposed to even be back here. Like, he's just... a big cube on the back of the tank thing. Okay. Sure. So, uh... I don't dislike any of the four in the first wave at all. And I don't dislike this guy, but I feel like his his little transforming vehicle thing is definitely just not as impressive in terms of what it can do as the other ones. And they all some some are better than others, but I just uh, I think this one is probably on the lower end of that. Uh, and then since we're already here, I'll turn this back around so you don't see his weird of a little face. Um, this is him in his head mode, which is just his legs fold it up behind him, and his arms flat down to the side. And, uh, I will be honest. It's a pretty cool looking face sculpt. I've seen pictures of Takara's, and they have, like, all this weird different paint around there, and I'll be honest, I actually really don't like theirs. Um, I much prefer the Hasbro version. But yeah, I'll show off all of their heads going on to other figures uh, towards the end of this video, so check that out if you want to see him on... I don't have any of the Deluxe Voyagers, so it's going to be his head on a really giant leader body, but it'll be fun for the lulz. Next up, we are taking a look at Loudmouth, who, if I am not mistaken, is supposed to be Siren, I think it is. Um, he's a little car thingy. You can keep this pig out like a gun or something, or you can sweep it back under there if you'd rather hide it. Um, all the rest of this stuff is, I mean, I guess theoretically you could have him be in a little flying mode, but those are technically for the transformation to the second mode. And he just kind of chills and drives in his little car. I, I mean, I gotta be honest, it might seem weird, but the way that he kind of fits into this and sits down and there's like nothing below him, but it, it fits in perfectly is... I, I really enjoy this thing for some reason. I'm not totally sure why, but it, it hits the mark for me. At least this mode does. I'm, I'm not so hot on his second mode at all. So to transform to that other second mode is pretty easy. Um, first off, the way he fits into here is that his feet peg into little pegs that are under there. 
So you can just kind of So what you do is that you take him and you just kind of put his legs in there and then you just peg him in with your finger and then the way that this works is that there are these little platforms kind of right there and his butt won't go back, like down past them so they work as a seat even though they're not actually a solid thing they kind of like clip in there like totally clipped like very very solid connection all of these are very solid, that's the one thing I'll say. I don't like the way all of them look, but they all fit in pronto solide. Toots. Um, yeah, so you pull him out of there. Yep, and uh, it's some kind of train or something. Yeah, um, so there's another one of those situations where his head clips in and then you're basically just supposed to fold his body back up into like this kind of a thing um, I'm not like getting these 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 two guys do this this guy and I already took him out of it because I hate it but this guy also has that weird other mode where his dudes like folded up in a cube on his back I don't get it um, I don't know what this is supposed to look like, and it also leaves a giant weird gap there, so like, you could theoretically, I guess, try to use this leg area to fill in that hole or something? I mean, I still, I, I still just don't totally, I'm, as much as I really dislike that mode, I really do enjoy this little car mode, so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna leave this vehicle in this car mode and that's gonna be what it is and like I might use these as little wings or something because they're also I'll show these all off later too um, they all have little gun modes and this has some like molded in rockets and stuff so those parts do get used for a gun mode if that's helpful to you also I think you can have him hmm hold on a second Hey, you know what? You can use the pegs from the car thing in the backwards way and have him kind of like riding this thing. Oh, you know, yeah, I'm going to do that. That's probably not at all what they expect you to do, but... Yep, totally doing that from now on. Never, ever, ever using that weird cube thing again. Glad I just found that out. Cool. So he has the same articulation as all the other guys. He's got ball joints that go about up to there. Uh, you can force him past there, but you're getting smashing stuff going on, so I wouldn't. Um, forward and backward knees. Yeah, all that stuff. Put him into a head. Put his arms right down to his sides. Fold that, fold that. And there he is in his head mode. Which again, is very nice. Nice molded details. Nice paint. Can't complain. Next up, I am taking a look at Terry Bull, who is supposed to be Hari Bull. Um, names change. Lol. He's got a little tank. These things are individually articulated, which is pretty cool. He's got little cutouts here that his hands fit into, if you are wondering where he's supposed to put his hands. You can see his face on his butt. But other than that, I really like this guy. He's, he's uh, I think, my second favorite, maybe first favorite. He might be tied for, for first, I don't know. He's enjoyable. Um, so he pegs in, you can see through these little two holes, that his feet slide into this little channel Let's see if I can get it well it's hard to get on camera but there, there are two little pegs that match exactly those little holes and you fit them in and then you just kinda give him a little wiggle until he fits down onto him and then he will sit with his hands nicely in those little cutouts which is pretty cool to transform this little thingy just flip it around pull out this nose cone 
unfold the wings and then he's actually going to kind of put his legs up like he's going to be sitting. I'll fix that later. You're going to kind of just slot him in head first like that and then push down on his legs until they kind of click in at an angle. They, they kind of clip in there. And I guess become like little thrusters or something. Um, and there you have him in his little flying drone mode thing. Uh, again, not sure why there's a cockpit, because he clearly can't fit in there, and he's piloting this thing, so I don't... Why are you putting cockpits on these tiny, tiny little things, Hasbro? You make no sense. Same articulation as the other guy, except his arms are a little less hindered, so his are, he's one of the ones that can kind of pretty much go all the way up. He can actually go a little farther than that, so... He doesn't have any of the smashing of the face and the shoulder stuff going on, so... And you pop him into head mode. And there is his little face. Another very, very nice head sculpt. And last but not least, we have Crash Bash, who I believe is supposed to be Squeeze Play. I don't really know how those names are related. Crash Bash. Squeeze play. I, I don't. I don't know. I have no. I don't get where they came up with that new name, but whatever! They're not even getting full bodies apparently, so who cares? He's got a little dragon that he rides, which is awesome. Uh, I don't totally know why this guy gets animal modes and the other ones get vehicles. That seems totes random to me. I guess it was because his original toy is like a crab monster or lobster monster or whatever the hell that thing's supposed to be. Um, who knows? But uh, I think this thing's pretty cool and this isn't even the coolest one of his modes. He pegs in on this little platform, which is cool. Obviously, same articulation, although he, like Harble, does not really have the same issues with his arms being stuck by uh, shoulder stuff at all, so he can pretty much put his arms all the way up and do so pretty easily. Except sometimes it does get caught. There's like one little corner that it can be kind of problematic. So, to put him into his other mode, so it's pretty snazzy. You're going to take his arms and point them straight out like so. I'm going to take this and kind of accordion this like that, just for now, just to get it out of the way. And then slot his head into this little alcove there. And then you're going to fold... Sorry, I folded these too much. Going to fold these little things on their ball joints around so that they fill in this stuff and bend this out of your way these little things right here oh no sorry these up here are going to clip in two little tab holes right there and then this thing on the bottom of the feet is going to peg in on the underside of this little thing to form the bottom jaw and then you can kind of do what you want with his arms. This becomes his tail. This becomes a kind of like back mounted gun. And then you just want to pose up his feet. Because he's got feet. And there he is a little like T-Rex monster man. Right, this thing's awesome. I love that. That's like super nifty. I don't I wish they all were that well integrated. Because this kind of puts all the other ones to shame, honestly. This this thing's really awesome. I mean, it's, I guess it's a little goofy. He's got, like, a face for a tail, but it's... It's not, like, super, super apparent, unless you know what you're looking for. It does what it needs to do. This is definitely my favorite out of all the first four. So this is also the only guy that actually requires a little tiny bit of transformation to get him into his gun mode. Um, 
basically what you want to do is that stuff and then you want to rotate this back under and that reveals a kind of like barrel thing right there and then you want to use these little channels to peg in to the little pegs on the side like that and that puts those in a locked forward facing position so you can use them as a gun Yep, and all of the other ones to get into gun mode are just basically like a mode split up or stretched out or, or something or just a, a mode with the gun handle flipped out so none of them are really all that involved um, the pegging in the, the legs on this one is pretty much the most involved any of the, the weapon modes are in terms of having their own special things this one you put out the same parts that normally go down straight out that's like and then these guys are just their normal modes with the handle on the back so and I will show these all off in a in a bit and just to show off the feature in actual use here are two Combiner Wars Voyager figures wielding the Titan Master weapon mode situations so yeah I mean they're kinda like Target Master analogies I guess they kinda fill in that same general general niche which is cool nice 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 additional thing didn't have to do it but they did so the main gimmick uh, I guess like kind of the second main gimmick is that all of the heads on these figures are swappable so basically his head is actually a mask that folds over a smaller headmaster like so which means that any of these other guys that you have like Nightbeat can go into their head modes and go straight on to Blaster and you can if you wish use Blaster's little helmet thing to go over them which in some cases doesn't look terrible and in some cases looks pretty horrible so it's it's really just kinda of personal preference is with um, horrible is with Crash Bash And here he is with Loudmouth. But the real main attraction here is, of course, the return of the microplay style. So, pretty much, the whole gimmick of this line is the Titan Masters and their interactivity with all the different uh, larger robots and the leaders and the head swapping and the vehicles and. and Pretty much they're trying to design the whole line around these little guys and their playability with everything else. Um, one of the nice features of that is that a lot of the, or all of the, we don't know yet, but so far all of the leaders and uh, the upcoming Titan Trypticon as far as we can suspect, and obviously the currently released uh, Titan Fort Max are all equipped with base modes or city modes that are also interconnected with each other. Uh, so not only can you use these kinds of things with all your little dudes, they have little pegs all over the place that you can stand them on, so uh, they sit very firmly. These are the two guns from um, Power Master Optimus Prime that have uh, Loudmouth and Nightbeat chilling in them. Um, you can, I mean obviously that's Blaster's guy, here's Prime back here. Uh, you got a whole lot of options. This is like little kid heaven. Um, there's like fan modes online making this like a multiple story thing turning it sideways I, I mean the the play potential for these I think is, is really very good um, and especially when you start looking at partnering it with other types of figures and play sets and stuff like when I get uh, Fort Max it's gonna be really nice but being able to kinda set it up with other figures that um like 
you can take stuff off here and they all have these little pegs and holes so like you can have a dude standing up here if you want I mean it's it's definitely gonna be really nice once there's a whole line of these toys that all kind of have this functionality like I'm it is entirely possible that you could set up an entire display of all of the things in city modes with little dudes running all over doing all kinds of crazy stuff so I, I am all about that um, I really like headmasters I really kind of enjoy the whole microplay play pattern thing I think it's fun uh, I used to really enjoy the little Star Wars micro universe dudes when I was a kid um, this this is totally down with me uh, some of the base modes are like Prime's base mode is a little bit weak I'll be honest I'll show that off in his review but uh it's a little bit weak. It's it's a little bit wibbly wobbly and and stuff. But this is really what this whole line is about for me, and uh, I'm really looking forward to. I have Fort Max in the mail right now, uh, and then the Voyagers and I think Wave Two of the little Titan Master guys are already out. Uh, and I also have the Legends, the three Legends dude, Wheelie. Um, who's it? It's Wheelie. Oh, Stripes. Wheelie, Stripes, and. Rewind! Finally rewind! I'm so happy this line is finally going to give a rewind and a chrome dome from the same line that are both, like, kind of-ish. I mean, more so the head on chrome dome, but, uh, kind of IDW-styled-esque. Good enough. Close enough. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is really what it's all about as far as Titans Returns, so. I'm digging it. I think they're doing a really good job so far. Um, I'll show off some more of this stuff as we get going obviously in the by the time I have Fort Max I will have this guy still I'm not getting rid of him so I will show off his interconnectivity with Fort Max and city mode and him too and uh, hopefully I'll build a little like Transformers diorama with all the headmasters and stuff so that'll be fun keep tuned um, if you are an older watcher thanks for bearing with me during my long absence and uh, if you are watching me for the first time thank you and uh, I should have more content coming out hopefully more regularly than it has been for the last handful of months so thank you for tuning in thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you liked and want to subscribe and I will see you next time peace